No, I'm again try to explain some problems. Uh, in this, I'm going to talk about uh, phase inversion and time reversal symmetries. It's a brief idea about these two terms. Uh, one is the phase inversion and then the, another is the time reversal symmetry. And these are very important uh, terms in uh, quantum mechanics. So let us try to explain these. The space inversion, first of all, I will talk about space inversion. The space inversion means in space reflection. about the origin of coordinate system or simply about the origin. And it's called inversion or parity operation. This transformation is discrete. This transformation is discrete. Let P is parity operator and when operates on Our vector or the cathar and uh, this of position vector because cathar is a position vector, right? So then what will happen? So that means when P operates over this, it gives us minus R. But if parity operator operates over bra vector, then it's written like this and uh, it gives us another bra vector. Or uh, in terms of wave function, I can say that when P operates over psi R, it gives us psi minus R. Also, another interesting thing is that P must be Hermitian. That is, P dagger must be equal to P. Again, operating this equation one, with P operator. So if I operate this again with the P operator, that gives me P. It is P psi R because its value will be psi minus R and when it operates that means this R will again it finally be changed it to become psi R. That means here it is P square psi R means when PDT operator operates two times again the same function will be there. V function will be good, right? Now, it suggests that P square must be equal to Y, which implies P is equal to plus minus I. Now, what is the meaning of this plus one and minus one or plus I or minus I? Means if eigenvalue corresponding to parity operator P is plus one, or it may be minus one, then 
it is known as even fairy tea and it is known as odd fairy tea thus the idea of space inversion or simply the space inversion means fairy tea and uh, in quantum mechanics and in high energy physics we will talk about fairy tea and the fairy tea conservation right and uh, this is beyond the scope of this course so now i will talk about uh, time reversal time reversal is again a very interesting or very important property so let us try to explain it it's a time reversal in physics we require fundamental equation of motion which is reversible in time this means that that for any wave function by rt the time reversal state must follow the property that is when psi r it is time reversed wave function it must be equal to psi star r minus t right so this must be the property which must be followed by this wave function and i simply take an example to explain this because this is a very short answer type question asked in the university examination so let us try to understand this by taking an example so for this consider psi r t is a wave function e raised to power iota k r minus omega t if this is the wave function and let me split this wave function into the spatial and the time dependent parts so it is iota k r and e raised to power minus iota omega t and this is independent of time and let me call this as psi r0 so that means this is equal to psi r0 e raised to power minus iota omega t now i want to find the wave function which is uh, which, which is time reversed so that means psi r r t and as as suggested in the definition that it is psi star r minus t so that means e raised to power iota k r minus omega not t what it is minus t because i am finding it for minus t because of this and taking its whole complex conjugate that means it is equal to e raised to power iota k r plus omega t and whole complex conjugate and e raised to power minus iota k r plus omega t and this equal to e raised to power minus iota k r and e raised to power minus iota omega t that means e raised to power iota k r it's whole star and e raised to power minus iota omega t and let me call this as 
phi r zero and its complex conjugate. So that means it is phi r zero, its complex conjugate, and e raised per minus iota omega t. That means this is simply the display function, right? So that means that's all. This is the time reversal symmetry. So that means if a wave function is sine reversed, that means psi r r t. It can be written as psi star r minus t, right? So this is a very important thing which we have to keep in mind. So that's all for this uh, lecture.